The event took place in a building the size of an airplane hangar in Poway, attended by scientists and local VIPs. All the fuss was about this big round piece of metal. General Atomics is working with an international team that is creating a fusion power facility in France, and they are sending to France a powerful tool that is pretty spectacular. What is it? Well, imagine a magnet so powerful it could lift an aircraft carrier out of the water. The device on display at General Atomics was only one-sixth of the assembly. The other five parts will be stacked on top of it, making it the height of a five-story building. Those five other parts are already on their way to France to the fusion plant called ITER. John Smith has been working on this magnet since it was conceived in 2011. He says the huge magnetic force is needed to contain fusion reactions like the ones that occur on the sun. The plasma that is creating, replicating what happens on the sun gets to 10 times hotter than the sun itself. And so how do you contain something that hot? So what we do is create a magnetic bottle with the series of magnets. It's a magnetic bottle that holds this plasma, which where the fusion reactions occur in, in order to keep it from touching anything and melting and, and burning things out. Fusion energy is created by smashing atoms together, fusing them. The potential of fusion energy has been realized since the end of World War II, but today the goal seems within reach, and it means having a virtually limitless supply of clean energy. Smith says getting there is vital to running data centers for artificial intelligence and all those electric cars we're going to be driving. Everything that we're doing today is, says our electricity demand in the world is only going to go up. That's why fusion is needed. You need to have some type of clean, limitless energy source to power the future of the world. There are still technical challenges to figure out. Fusion energy also requires financial investments and construction of expensive power plants. But people at General Atomics say that financial support system is taking shape. The fusion ecosystem is undergoing a rapid change. We have several private companies that are working closely with publicly funded organizations to really demonstrate a viable path to fusion energy in the 2030s. Whenever fusion energy does become a reality, Congressman Scott Peters says San Diego has been a big part of it. Our energy future is being written right here, right here in San Diego, and I look forward to working with you to continue to support you to make that happen. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.